Mental health is really a major global health issue. It's very high on the global burden of disease scale, particularly depression, but also other disorders such as substance abuse and trauma and PTSD. And over three quarters of people don't receive any type of mental health services. There are none available. It's the field that has really lacked attention. We often go in and there are no counseling centers. There's no mental health trained people. There often aren't in any hospitals, no one trained in any psychotropic medications. So we're really building something from the ground up. Perfect. Yeah. We have created the Applied Mental Health Research Group to really focus on bringing international mental health into the evidence-based field. For example, HIV is a major public health issue and we find that mental health intersects with it quite a bit. We know that HIV orphans, HIV affected children, even HIV affected adults have significant mental health uh, problems that we can help with. We started working in Zambia quite a few years ago and we began by doing a qualitative study. We looked at HIV affected women and children in rural communities and just asked them what their most common problems were. We actually found that there was a very high uh, disclosure about abuse, child sexual abuse, child physical abuse, domestic violence against women. And that was really what the locals were identifying as the main needs. What we chose from that qualitative study was really to focus on child sexual abuse. So our next step is to do a quantitative study and we look for evidence-based assessment measures, questionnaires that we can give families and kids to really identify who has major mental health problems and, and who doesn't. Our next step was to train people on an evidence-based treatment protocol called trauma-focused cognitive behavioral therapy where a counselor sits down with a child and actually talks through the trauma. Usually we write a story, they draw pictures, talk about their thoughts and feelings. It's definitely been shown to significantly decrease trauma symptoms, depressive symptoms, behavior disorders, all sorts of problems that children may have after trauma. I think one of the challenges of building a sustainable program is making sure that people on the ground are trained highly enough to implement the program and also evaluate to make sure that the field of international mental health continues to be science-based.